Oh, there we go, we did it. Okay, so how on earth did I do that? Well, here's something. It's very, when I say it's fiddly, I mean things are very subtle in this designer. So this is what we had before. If I, the, the, the confusing thing as well is that a tabbed pane that doesn't have anything in it is gray, and so is a panel that's gray. So that's very useful when you want to be able to find out what stuff you've got. A good tri tip is to just draw a box which will select everything. So there, we can see that this box that my cursor is currently on is the panel, and this box that I've now moved to is the tabbed pane, but because the tabbed pane has nothing in it, it's very small. So what we do is we drag from the, pan the panel here. Now I've clicked it, now I'm dragging it across. Now I know, because I've just seen it, that there is a, a, uh, a tabbed pane here. Okay? What I do is I drag this box until it disappears. Then I let go, and now I know that I have dragged the, the panel into the tabbed pane. And you can see this is where things start to look nicer because now I've got a panel, which I've just clicked on, within a tabbed pane. So if we go and grab another panel and drag it into here, we again drag it, now Now the box, it's easier to see where we're dragging, you see see the difference, see, now it's not going to, it's just going to not go into the tabs pane, now it's going to go into the tabs pane because it's got a yellow box around the edge, I click, again, and there we have, we have two tabs, and we can, uh, we can click this thing and drag it around, and the cool thing is, oops, you got to be careful that when you're selecting this thing, you select the outside and not the inside outside, inside. Um, so what we can now do is we can go to, let's close the swing containers and open up swing um, controls. Because we've got tab 2 selected, we can drag buttons onto here like that. J button 1, J button 2. Then we can go tab 1, see it's a different pane that we're now altering. So we can like say, level, this is tab 1. Tab 2, tab 1. If we want to just edit the panel in itself, we can double click the panel. See that I've got the panel selected, yellow border. Double click. We're now just editing the panel. We can add, um, oops, 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 ignore that. Okay, we can add further buttons. And then to get out of this, we just double click the background there, and we're in there. <coughs> so that's tabs. What I'm interested to do in doing, and this is the question that I posed to you, to the, you as the viewer, is I want to be able to drag one of my own J panels into a tab. So instead of this, you see what my this this that I've currently got selected in the palette is a default J panel. Say I went on file, new file, um, swing GUI form, J panel form. Then I've got James's J panel, okay? So now, as we discussed earlier, if I look at the source, what I have is James's J panel extends J panel, okay? So <clears throat> what I want to be able to do is to drag James's J because because now I can edit this file, I can uh, <coughs> I can go to the design view. And I can, um, I could add a table, let's say, um, which is where it's in. Uh, maybe it's in swing controls. Oh, we'll have a progress bar because they look quite nifty. And, um, and a table is a table. Okay, the tables, uh, whatever. Okay, it looks lovely, I'm sure. But this is my uh, panel. Just a really uh, Ram home, ram home the point. I'm going to stick a label on it and say James J panel. Hopefully that's very clear. So now in my um, demo J frame panel, <coughs> sorry, my demo J, my demo video J frame, which as as a reminder extends J frame, just as this extends J panel. I'm really ramming the point home here. I want to be able to drag from the palette James J panel 
and put it into a new tab. The only because the palette only consists of um, standard Java classes and not extensions to. The only way I can see to do this is to drag a J panel to the area. See, I always make sure that there's a yellow box around the around this area like I've got now before I let go. Tab three. Now I've got a third panel in here, which I've just created. So I've got one, two, three. I want to then change the properties of this to be my my J panel, James J panel, instead of um, just a standard J panel. Also, if we double click on this, nah, never mind. So that's my question: How do I get this separate class of J panel into uh, another frame? Okay, that's my question.